Hi, I'm Lace, and this is Around the Dining Table. And today we're going to be making a bacon and corn donna bay. It's really tasty and yeah, bacon and corn and butter. It's really hard to go wrong. And I posted this as an IG stories tutorial last week. And it's a dish I've also shared before last year. It's basically an adaptation from Mrs. Donna Bay's recipe. She has really tons of um, interesting ideas and recipes. So you can go check out her book as well. It's called Donna Bay and I love that book. For today, what we're going to need is some Japanese rice, some corn. I have two ears here that I've shucked. And you need four rashes of bacon and I've a tray of bacon that Adrian made. This is his housemate bacon from Belly Happy Chef. Some miso, light soy, fish sauce, and yeah. Um, oh yeah, and dashi stock, yeah. So let's talk about the dashi stock. You could make your own dashi stock, but what I like to do is use this little, little convenient tea bags. You basically just steep them like a tea, and I usually do the cold infusion method where I put them in room temperature water for a while because um, I don't want anything too overpowering. So do note that depending on how salty your dashi bags are, you may need to adjust the, the final seasoning in your, in your dish later on. So yeah. Bacon looks so good. So now that we've entered into the heightened alert, how's everyone holding up during this period? I've just been trying to get my exercise in and cooking more than usual. Yeah, it's really tough because I'm so used to going to the gym and then you're trapped in a room and you can't really leave because you're peer pressured into staying and, and moving my lazy ass. And then now it's back to the YouTube videos for everyone, which you need tons of discipline to do actually. So yeah. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention that we also need some spring onions. You need the whites and you save the greens for garnish later on. Off with rendering our bacon fat just a touch of oil and I'm gonna go in with my bacon so you just want to get it slightly crisp and golden So my bacon is looking golden brown now and the fat has kind of rendered out of the pork belly. So I'm going to go in with the corn now, the two ears of corn. As well as the spring onion whites. At this point, you also want to add in your miso paste, and I'm using a white one here. So now I'm going to be adding my rice into the pot. And into the pot with the rice, you're going to add your dashi stock. Let this mixture sit for about half an hour before we cook it. So for the cooking vessel, you can use a clay pot. I'm using a Dutch oven today. Basically, you want something that's um, got a really thick bottom and conducts heat really evenly so that the bottom of your rice doesn't get too burnt. So yeah, I'll see you in half an hour's time. And season your rice mixture with fish sauce and light soy. So now it's time to cook up your rice. You want to do this over medium-high heat for about 13 to 16 minutes. After your rice has cooked, you want to allow it to stand off the heat for about 20 minutes or so. And then you want to add some butter to coat every single grain of rice. Mix everything up real nice and good and we're ready to plate up and serve. To serve, simply plate up your rice and garnish it with some spring onion greens as well as some cracked black pepper. I just got the crispy caramelized rice bits at the bottom and it tastes, the combination of the miso and the, the light soy and the fish sauce, it tastes almost like caramelized cheese in a really good way, like those crispy lacy cheese crackers. <laughs> lacy. And yeah, you got the, this nice slightly chewy rice grains, you get the pops of sweet corn kernels and that fatty bacony flavour just 
enveloping every grain of rice. Really tasty and simple. I do hope you give this a try. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, do give a quick like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys soon for our next cooking session. Bye for now. And stay safe.